Hi, I'm Ron with Hatching Time, and I'm going to show you how to build a 15 inch, 5 layer chick brooder today. These are the tools you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, or we recommend a power drill, a mallet, a flathead screwdriver, and then something to grip the aluminum rods with when you're screwing them in, either a grip or vice grips. We're going to build one section. So if you come here, you can see that these two arrows are lined up, and the same thing on here. The outside arrows are lined up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these two pieces and clip them together. They're butterfly locks, so it should be fairly easy to lock them in. Just make sure you get it at the right angle. Now you take this side, make sure you get at the right angle. You gotta put a little pressure on to get in sometimes. And then you flip that over. And then you're gonna see on this back wall that these two arrows will be lined up. Simply push it together. And you flip it over. And then you put this side in. All right, and now you have your first section built, and then you build two more of these. All right, so now once you have your three sections built, and you start building the hole. And then you're just going to push the wall into the pegs. Keep going around it. Now sometimes the plastic is a little bent here. Simply just place it in. You can flip it over again and push into the holes and then we suggest using a mallet. To lock it in place. Flip it over. And then you're going to want to put one of your middle pieces in. Again, slide the pegs in. Making sure they're all lined up. Grab your next section. Again, line up all the pegs. And then grab your next middle piece. And then you're doing the same thing. Pushing it along, making sure it's all secured, making sure all the pegs are going in the holes. Use a little bit of your body weight. Again, take the mallet. Make sure all the holes are lined up before you hit the mallet.
Again, you take your mallet. You want to make sure everything is very secure and snug. Now you're going to take your knife, and now this is the right side of the cage, and you're going to cut out the space for the heater. And then, depending on what size bird you have, the bigger birds, you'll want to cut this one open. Small bridge, you want to open this one. And then if you spin it around here, lift it up, we're going to want to take out this bottom piece on the left side of the cage. That's all the cutting you need to do. So now you have your four side struts, four aluminum rods, eight mollies, and eight screws. And what you're gonna do is you put the molly into the furthest hole on each side. Put the aluminum rod into the molly. Get your screw. Same thing for the other side. All right, then you build one more exactly the same as this. So now that we have both built, you're going to take them and then slide them into the holes of the brooder. All right, the first one in. And then you're gonna feed them through the holes. Sometimes it's a little difficult to see in here. And then the back will be the same way. You'll have to make sure you get in the hole on the inside. And alternating each side. until they're all the way through. Next, you're gonna flip it over and attach the side struts onto the other side. Just put in the molly on the furthest sides. Again, placing the mollies into the aluminum rod. Again, take your screwdriver or power drill. And you secure all four sides. Now, if you run into the issue where it spins, you might need to hold it on the inside. Now, here's where the vice grips will come in handy. To simply tighten them. And then drill. From here. You want this to be very tight. 
All right, now you have your side struts on there. So next we're gonna install the water system on the inside. So you're gonna start here with your screwdriver and your adjustable drinker hook. And the part simply slides through the bottom there. You're gonna need your screwdriver for this one. Simply push in and twist. So once you have your hanger set up in the back there, you're going to take these three pieces. You're simply going to pull this up, slide the nipple in there, push it down, and then this will just clamp right over. Again, you do the same thing. Open it up, place the nipple in there, and you just close it back up. Next, you're going to take your long hose And attach it. It won't go to the full distance. Right there is fine. And you're going to want to slide in the middle. Put it behind the bar there. And then you're going to put it through the hole you made on the back. Next, you're going to take your connector piece here. Attach it to the piece you just pulled out. And then you'll grab one shorter hose and you'll attach it to the bottom. Simply push the PVC piping into the yellow hanger. Attach the cord, tilt back and forth until you get it in there, then you're going to slide it in, and then if you look on the inside, it's going right through that hanger, and that'll hold it in place. Next we're going to put the cap on the light, so if you come in here you can see It'll go right above the light bulb and you just push back and forth until it goes in. Next you have your brooder mats. Simply put them at an angle. They'll slide right in. And this is to protect your bird's feed in the first week or two. Now you have your starter feeders and drinker cups, which these will simply slide in and twist to lock. Two starter drinkers and three starter feeders per layer. Next you have your three doors. And to put these on, you simply slide the top in. You'll go back with it and then you'll pull the front forward. And that'll sit there. Push the green lever down, it locks into place. Again, you go with the same thing. Alternating. And then these are adjustable to go up and down depending on your birds. Next, you have your bottom piece and your four wheels. You take your two wheels out lock and you're going to put them in the front. And you can grab a wrench to make these very tight. All right, then you're going to place that on the ground. Next, you're going to take your layer, place the side struts in place. Pull up from the bottom, making sure this is secure. So now you take your green piece here, and you have the arrows facing away from the feeding trough. And you simply slide this in. It's 
see on down there that it snaps in. Then you take your feed cover and you're going to place it right on top there. And then you grab the manure tray and you slide it in below. And the next piece is you put the little stopper on the bottom. And again, you just rock back and forth. And if you ever want to empty the water, you get rid of that stopper, drain the system, fill it up again. All right, now you're going to take your next layer. Simply place it on top. Simply add another layer. Now if you have two people, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Next, you're going to attach your filter. Place it towards the back, down a little bit. Put the top on, then you have your top here. That you'll place on top of this. Making sure you get it in side struts on both sides. Now you're going to take your water tank. Place it on top. And then you're going to take your last hose and cut it to the distance. All right, now that you have your hose cut, you put that part in there. We find it easier to take the top off. I'm attaching the hose like this. Put the water tank back on at the top. Make sure it sits in level, and then you attach the hoses down the side. Now you add the manure trays. four-layer brooder.